dear sisters and brothers in Christ, may the Lord give you peace. We the Friars Minor and Christian Media Center from Holy Land welcome you all for the celebration of Christmas in Bethlehem. We also welcome Narsat TV, EWTN TV, Shalom TV and Salt and Light Catholic Media TV. We rejoice and bring you live the celebration of Christmas from Bethlehem the birthplace of Jesus. The Holy Eucharist is celebrated in the Church of St. Catherine, Bethlehem, by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem. The Holy Eucharist is celebrated in the Church of St. Catherine, Bethlehem, by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Most Reverend Pier Battista di Zabala, with the clergy of priests, nuns, friends, family members, relatives, and with the faithful from all over the world. Especially present among us, Mr. President of Palestine, Mr. Abu Mazen and other officials of the Palestinian government. I am Brother Abhishek Mariswami of Orobele, a Franciscan friar, signing in from Bethlehem, Holy Land. I would be doing commentary and translating the Holy Eucharist in English. The only celebration that unites all people, religion and tradition is Christmas. Every body and in every country, the Christmas is celebrated gloriously. Thousands and millions of people from all over the world visit Bethlehem only because Jesus the Savior was born in this place. We celebrate Christmas on this day of 25th December every year, recalling the birth of Jesus, who is the Savior of this world. On this Christmas, we celebrate the gift of salvation and God's love for us. It's also a reminder of God's fulfilled prophecy and it's part of God's redemption plan. Christmas is built on singularity. It shows divine involvement and brings a message of hope, love, unity, mercy and kindness. We, the Friars Minor and Christian Media Center from Holy Land, welcome you all for the celebration of Christmas in Bethlehem. We also welcome Narsat TV, EWTN TV, Shalom TV, and Salt and Light Catholic Media TV. We rejoice and bring you live the celebration of Christmas from Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus. The Holy Eucharist is celebrated in the Church of St. Catherine, Bethlehem, by the Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, Most Reverend Pier Battista di Zabala, with the clergy of priests, nuns, family members, friends, relatives, and with the faithful from all over the world. Especially present among us, Mr. President of Palestine, Mr. Abu Mazen and other officials of the Palestinian government. On this Christmas, we celebrate the gift of salvation and God's love for us. It's also a remem reminder of God's fulfilled prophecy 
and it's a part of God's redemption plan. Christmas is built on singularity. It shows divine involvement and brings a message of hope, love, unity, mercy, and kindness. Help us to proclaim your words. نحن له نحن شعبه وغنم مرعاه ادخلوا ابوابه بالشكران ودياره بالتسبيح احمدوه وباركوا اسمه فان الرب صالح وللابد رحمته والى جيل فجيل امانته the hymn is being sung. المسيح ولد لنا راسولي صرخوس كارديمي الآن مع نشيد أو تسبحة للإبن الذي ولد من الآب يسوع فادينا الصمد يا من الآب التلد بمجده السام اتحد قبل ضياء وجلد إنك للآب الضياء وللورى الرجاء 
ألستجب منا الدعاء وامنح عبادك المدد اذكر أخالق الدنا أخذك جسما مثلنا من جسم بكر اغتنى بمولد يسبي الخلد ذا يوم نور ينجلي يشهد بالحق الجلي أنك من حضن العلي نزلت فاديا أحد إن الثرى إن الثريا والثرى وما يرى ولا يرى إلى مجدد الورى تهدي النشيد المستجد ونحن من نال المنى بغسلة تنفي الضنا جئنا بجزية السنة يوم ظهرت في الجسد يسوع كن ممجدا يا من <clears throat> the first antiphon of the office of the reading the Lord said to me you are my son today I have begotten you Psalm 2. نحن الآن مع المزمور الثاني قال لي الرب أنت ابني وأنا اليوم ولدتك لماذا ارتجت الأمم وبالباطل تمتمت الشعوب ملوك الأرض قام والعظماء 
على الرب ومسيحه تآمروا لنكسر قيودهم ولنلقي عنا نيرهما الساكن في السماوات يضحك والسيد بهم يهزم بغضبه حينئذ يخاطبهم وبسخطه يروعهم اني مسحت ملكي على جبل المقدس سيون اعلن حكم الرب قال لي انت ابني وانا اليوم ولدتك سلني فاعطيك الامم ميراثا واقاصي الارض ملكا بعصا من حديد تكسرهم وكاناء خزاف تحطمهم ايها الملوك الان تعقلوا ويا قضاة الأرض اتعبوا اعبدوا الرب بخشية وقبلوا قدميه برعدة لئلا يغضب فتضل الطريق لأنه سرعان ما يضطرم غضبه فطوب لجميع الذين به يعتصمون العروس يخرج الرب من حجلتي والجلد يصبي ليذيع خبره لا حديث ولا كلام ولا صوت يسمعه الأنام بل في الأرض كلها سطور بارزة وكلمات إلى أقاصي الدنيا بينة هناك للشمس نصب خيمة وهي كالعريس الخارج من خدرها وكالجبار تبتهج في عدوها من أقاصي السماء خروجها وإلى أقاصيها مدارها ولا شيء في مأمن من حرها Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit As it was in the beginning, is now and ever, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord comes forth, the bridegroom from his bridal chamber.
Psalm 44 and 45. My heart overflows with a godly theme. I address my verses to the king. My tongue is like the pen of a ready scribe. You are the most handsome of men. Grace is poured upon your lips. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword on your thigh, O mighty one. In your glory, In your majesty ride on victoriously for the cause of truth and to defend the right. المزمور التالي هو نبوءة عن السيد المسيح الملك إلى الدهر والملك المذكورة في المزمور تشير إلى الكنيسة عروس المسيح. انسكبت النعمة على شفتيك لذلك باركت الله إلى الأبد. جاش قلبي بطيب الكلام Sisters, you, O king, shall have sons. You will make them princes in all the earth. I will cause your name to be celebrated in all generations. Therefore, the peoples will praise you forever and ever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, and now, and forever, and ever, and ever. Amen.
words are filled with grace because God has blessed you forever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. But a shoot shall sprout from the stumps of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with a little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the egg, ox. The baby shall play with the cobra's den, and the child shall lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or Ruin on all my holy mountain, but the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord, as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations, the Lord shall seek out for his glory. Today the King of Heaven was born to us from the Virgin. 
to recall lost man to the kingdoms of heaven. The host of angels rejoices because eternal salvation has appeared to the human race. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace of men of good will. The host of angels rejoices because eternal salvation has appeared to the human race. A reading from a sermon by Pope St. Leo the Great. This is the day our Savior was born. What a joy for us, my beloved. This is no season for sadness. This, the birthday of life, the life which annihilates the fear of death and engrandes joy, promise as it does immortality nobody is an outsider to this happiness the same cause for joy is common to all for as a lord found nobody free from guilt when he came to bring an end to death and to sin so he came with redemption for all let the saints rejoice for he hastened to his crown let the sinners be filled with joy, for pardon is offered him. Let the Gentile be embroidered, for he is called to life. When the designated time had come, which God in his deep and impe impenetrable plan had fixed upon, God's Son took the nature of man upon himself in order to reconcile man to his creator. Thus, would the devil, the father of death, be himself overcome by that self-same human nature which he had overcame? The angels therefore exult at the birth of the Lord. They sing, Glory to God in the highest heaven. They announce peace on earth for men on whom his favor rests. For they behold heavenly Jerusalem from out of all the tribes of things. How great and how many men rejoice in this mysterious love. And the angels on high thrill so much at it. Let us offer thanksgiving to God for the heart. with which he loved us, he had pity on us, and in giving life to Christ, gave life to us too, when we were dead through sin, so that in him we might be a new creation, a new work of his hand. Share us now in the birth of Christ, let us break with the deeds of the flesh. O Christian, be aware of your nobility. It is God's own nature that you share. Do not then be an ignoble life. Fall back into your former basis. Think of the head. Think of the body of which you are a member. Recall that you have been rescued from the power of darkness and have been transferred to the light of God, the kingdom of God. Through the sacrament of baptism, you have been made a temple of the Holy Spirit. Do not 
by evil deeds drive so great and indwelling away from you, submitting yourselves once more to the slavery of the devil. For you were bought at the price of Christ's blood. Today from heaven true peace descends. Today all over the world the heavens became honeyed. Today dawned a new day of redemption, of ancient preparation, of eternal happiness. Under a vaccine moon, unknown ages from the time when God created the heavens and the and then formed man and woman in his own image. Several thousand years after the flood, when God made the rainbows, charcoals as a sign of the covenant of the Lord. Twenty-one centuries from the time when Abraham, our father in faith, set out Ex corpus diluvium, altissimus in nubibus atupos, Thirteen centuries after Moses led the people of Israel out of Egypt, about one thousand years from the anointing of David as a king, in the sixth, sixty-fifth week according to the prophecy of Daniel, in the one hundred and ninety-fourth Olympiad, the 752nd year from the foundation of the city of Rome, the 42nd year of the region of Ottavian Augustus, 
the whole world being at peace. Jesus Christ, eternal God and Son of eternal Father, desiring to sanctify the world by his merciful com his conception, was born here in Bethlehem of Judea of the Virgin Mary. Today is the nativity of the Lord Jesus Christ according to the flesh. Quinquagesimo secondo, anno emperi Cesari Sottaviani Augusti, quadragesimo secondo, dottor ben pace composito, Jesus Christus, eternus Deus, eterni que patris filius, Mundum valens adventus suo pissimo consecrare, de spiritu sancto conceptus, novem que post conceptionem de cursis mensibus. Ic em Bethlehem iude nascitur ex Maria Virgine, factus homo, Nativitas, Domini nostri Jesu Christi, secundum carne. Dear brothers and sisters, the time has come for us to sing the glory to God. The sign that this is the moment that we believe when we sing glory to God in the highest, that Jesus was born, that we announce that Jesus is born in Bethlehem. So let us sing all together the glory to God in the highest and let earth peace to people. Church ring. Let our hearts rejoice in God's love that our Lord is born in each of us, in each of us, mind, soul, and heart. May Lord Jesus be with us and be born in us.
let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year as we wait in hope for our redemption, grant that just as we joyfully welcome your only begotten Son as a Redeemer, we may also merit to face him confidently when he comes again as a judge. Now we enter the third part of the liturgy, liturgy of the world. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing. And as it becomes very merry when divided in the yoke that burden them the shoulders and the of the task master you have smashed median for every boot that planted in battle every boot will be burnt as proof for it for it is born to us a son is given us upon his shoulders dominion rests. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon our shoulders dominion rests. They name him wonder of Israel, God Father forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful from David's throne and over his kingdom. Both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Today a Savior is born to, unto us, the Messiah, the Lord. Today, a Savior is born unto us, the Messiah, the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Rejoice and the earth rejoice, the sea and its fullness sound, the fields and all that is in them will rejoice. Then all the trees of the forest will rejoice.
face the Lord because he is coming because he is coming to just the earth he will just the world of justice and the people to their truth et populos in veritate Second reading, a reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Brothers, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject God's ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age. As we are made the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God and of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. Verbum Domini, Deo Gratia. for us Christ the Lord Dominus vobiscum, et vobiscum, Lexio Sancti Evangelii, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each of his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, that is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed. He was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have a child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and led him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were, there were shepherds in that region, living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, 
Do not be afraid. For behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today in the city of David a Savior has been born for you, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angels, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those who his favor rests. Qui es Christus Dominus, in civita te davi, et hoc vobis inium, in venientis infantem panis in volutum, et positum in presepio, et subito factes cum angelo multitudum militiae celestis, laudantium deum et dicentium, Gloria in altissimum is Deo, et super terram pax, in omnibus bone voluntatis. Verbum Domini, laudibi Christe. First of all, I want to say that I'm very happy this year to see the church packed by people coming from all over the world. Most welcome to all of you and Merry Christmas to all of you. And we are very happy uh, that finally we can celebrate Christmas in a normal way. And the normal way means also that finally after the pandemic we have with us also our president, president of the state of Palestine and we welcome him and together with his delegation, the Prime Minister and all the Palestinian delegation, we are very happy and Merry Christmas once again. Today we had a beautiful procession, some, some water, but we enjoyed a lot. And uh, we saw that uh, Bethlehem was united. Today, Muslims, Christians all together, packed, all, everyone enjoying, especially the children. And this brings us, to all of us, a lot of consolation happiness, of course. So, dear brothers and sisters, dear Mr. President Mahmoud Abbas, and the representative of the State of Palestine, dear Deputy Prime Minister Taufik Krishan, representative of His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, Your Excellencies, Council Generals of, and members of the Diplomatic Corps, may the Lord give you peace. You just heard in the first reading, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in the land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. We have multiplied the nation, we have increased its joy. This is what we've just heard. Once again, we meet each other here in Bethlehem, in this holy city, in the holy city, holy place, to thank, praise, and celebrate the wonderful event of the Savior's birth. Once again, with the prophet Isaiah, we proclaim to the whole world that a great light has appeared before our eyes and that a great joy has filled our hearts, for the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, Jesus Christ, the Redeemer. Today we are invited, as every year, to bow before this great mystery, which is also proclamation of salvation and mercy. Christmas, in fact, is not only a time, perhaps a bit childish, of joy, celebration, and lights, or of happy children 
and give, share with those in need. We, we need these things. We need to also this childish moment in our life to revive in us, in all of us also, we adult, some, what the child is in us. But Christmas is not just this. First and foremost, it is a celebration of God's revelation in history. It is a manifestation of divine intention towards mankind, which reaches its climax during Christmas. Christmas is God's gaze and judgment on the world, and it is a judgment of salvation and mercy, of compassion and not condemnation. The people who walked in darkness. The life of the world was marked by sin. Back then, the world was torn, divided, and violent, no less than today, as we know. Yet, with the Christmas of Christ, something began to change. In fact, the birth of the child of Bethlehem also marks the birth of a new opportunity for relationship between people. True, there were no sudden changes in the life of that violent world. However, that divine intention, that compassion-filled desire of God, which during Christmas became flesh and was made visible in a child, began little by little to expand from that place, from here, to the entire world. It brought a new way of life, based on the dignity of every man and woman, on a justice that is never separated from mercy, on the desire for all to be saved. Since then, that divine intention continues to radiate, bringing its light to those who dwell in the land of darkness. Yet, that judgment and that look of mercy and salvation also await a response. They are an invitation addressed to every man and woman to enter that new way of life based on the same desire of God. It is a powerful and solemn call to live in that new life. In him was life, and that life was the life for all. Celebrating Christmas, then, also involves a decision. One can choose, in fact, not to respond to that invitation. John says, in the Gospel of John, he came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. From then until now, that grace and judgment of God are made present in the world through the church. For Christianity, before being a religion, is first and foremost the way of life of those who have decided to accept the invitation to be credible witnesses the plan of salvation that God has for all. Being church means making concrete that divine desire for mercy, a desire that Christ's Christmas made possible and tangible. The Christian community is called to make the compassionate heart of God alive and present in this world of ours and to look at humanity with eyes illuminated by this radiant light. One gains a truer view of the world's event if one sees with the heart and not only with eyes. And what do we see today here in this world of ours? What is our Jerusalem church contemplating? What is God's light bringing to the eyes of our minds and hearts here in this holy land? With our eyes, we see that violence seems to, be, to have become our main language, our main way of communicating. Violence is increasing, first of all in the language of politics. We have already expressed our concern about the direction politics is taking in Israel, where there is a risk of breaking the already fragile balance between the different religious and ethnic communities that, that make up the society. Politics has the task of serving the country and its inhabitants, working to achieve harmony among the country's different social and religious communities, that teaching us that love is stronger than death. It is not impossible that 
testimony of so many men and women here, you know, there in, in so many other parts of the world, tells us that that way of life, that way of celebrating Christmas, is still possible today, despite everything. My wish then is that the child of Jesus will awaken in us to once again the desire for good for each person, strengthen our trust in all, and sustain our action for mercy and justice in the only land and in the world. Is that what we all want and we are in need? Merry Christmas to all of you. Purida Masir, Alleluia. We can sing it. Purida Masir. Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, 
succession with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven. At the words that follow, up to our including and became man. Alpha, all power, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for this forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. This night, dearest brothers, in which the kindness and humility of salvation appeared of our God, trusting not in the works of our justice, but in his mercy, prayers to our God. Let us pray the prayer of the faithful. For the Church of God, that it may be supported with a complete faith, and that it may receive gladly immaculate virgin, conceived with the word, and gave birth to ineffably. For the sake of the city of Bethlehem, to always welcome Christ the Savior among its people and to become a symbol of peace, reconciliation in a world torn apart by rivalries and wars. For the human family, because the Lord Jesus gathered the mission breaks the chains of the oppressed, bring hope to the discouraged, support the operators of justice and peace. For all the people who have come in faith to the grotto of the nativity of our Savior, that moved by the good news of this night, they may become the living of peace throughout the world. For all who seek the light and for all who are on the path of faith, so that in Christ they may be born to new life.
for the whole world. The Lord grant to all peoples, races and nations his peace. For those of us who have come at the voice of the angel to celebrate the mystery of the incarnation of our Savior, so that his word turn into bread of life and drink of salvation, be food and light that guides our continuous walk towards his second coming. On the night of the birth of the in every house in the world. We ask, Lord our God, that the supplications of your faithful, she herself commends you, who deserves to praise God and man with chaste blows. To Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we move to the fourth part of the Eucharist, Eucharistic liturgy. As we are preparing during this time of prayer, let us thank the Lord for all that He has done throughout this year. From last Christmas to this Christmas, let us thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your great love and blessing over our lives. Thank you that your favor has no end, but it lasts for our entire lifetime. Forgive us for sometimes forgetting that you are intimately acquainted with all of our ways, that you know what concerns us, and you cover us as with a shield. Establish the work of our hands and bring to fulfillment all that you have given us to do in these days. We pray that you would make our way purposeful and our footsteps firm out of our goodness and love. Give us a heart of wisdom to hear your voice and make us strong by your huge favor and grace.
tale, frates, ut meum ac vestum sacrificium acceptabile fiat ac udeu patre monipotente. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Salutare, non stibi sempre tu bique grazia va savagere, Domine sante pater omnipotens eterne Deus, qui a per incarnati verbi misterium, novamente soculis, lux, lux tu e clarita vatis in fulsi. Udum visibiliter deum cognovosimus, Per un chi invisibile un amore em rapiamur, e ti video, cum angelis et avarca evangelis, cum tronis et dominatii ovonibus, cum quam ni milizia celestis e exevercitus, imnem glorie tue vecavanimus, sine fine vediceventes. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Santos es Domine, et merito te laudat omnis a te condita creatura, qui a per filium tuum Dominum nostri esum Christum, Spiritus Santi operante virtute, vivificas e santificas universa, et populum tibi congregare non desinis, ut a solis ortus usque ad occasum oblatio mundo feratur nomini tuum. Supplice sergo te Domine de precamus, ut ec munerat tibi sacranda de tulimus, e odem spiritu santificare dignieris, ut corpus e sanguis fiam fili tui domini nostri Iesu Christi, cuius mandato ec misteria celebramus. Ipse in inqua nocte tradebatur, accepit panem, et tibi grazia sagens benedixit, fregit, dedit que discipuli suis dicens. Acipitet manducate ex hoc omnes, 
a kezdeném karpus megum, kat prova bistra Simili modo pos concenatum est, a cipiens calice, et ibi gratia sagens benedixi, dedit que discipuli suis dicens, a cipite et bibite ex e omnes, ic est enim cali sanguinis mei, noviet eterni testamenti, qui provobis et promultis e fundetur, in remissionem peccatorum, hoc facite in meam commemorationem. Mysterium Fidei. Ordem tu, O Annunciato, Precioso Antime, E tu, O Resurrezione, Mortiterum, Aleluia. Memore Sigitur Domine, Dem fili tui salutifere passionis, nec no mirabilis resurrectionis et ascensionis in celum, sede prestolante salturum eso adventu, offerimus tibi gratias referentes, hoc sacrificium vivum et santum. Respice quesumus in oblazione me clese tue, et agnoscen sostiam cuius voluisti immolazione placare, concedut qui corpor ce sanguine fili tui reficimur, Spiritus eius santo repleti, unum corpus et unus spiritus, inveniamoli in Cristo. Ipse nos, tibi perficia immunus eternum, ut cap cum electis tuis ereditate consequi valeamus, in primis con beatissima Virgine, Dei Genetrice Maria, con beato Iosef eius sponso, con beatis apostolis tuis et gloriosis martiribus, et omnibus sanctis, volum intercessione perpetuo apud te confidimus a Giovanni. Ec ostia nostre reconciliationis proficia, quesumus Domine, ad ottozius mundi pacem atque salutem, ecclesiam tuam peregrinantem in terra, infide et caritate firmare dignieris, con famula tuo Papa nostro Francisco, et Patriarca nostro Pier Battista, cum Episcopali Ordine, et Universo Creo, et Omni Populo Acquisitionis Tue. Voti suius familie, quam tibi astare volvisti ad esto propizius. Omnes filios tuo subique dispersos, tibi clemes pater miseratus coniunge. Frates nostros defuntos, et omnes, qui in tibi crecentes, es hoc seclo transierum, ad regnum tuum benignus admite, ubi fore speramos, et simul gloria tua per eminter sassiemo, per Christum Dominum nostri, per quem mundo bona punta d'argenis. Per ipsum cum ipso et in ipso, per stili Deo Patri Omnipotenti, in unitate Spiritu Sancti, Salutaribus moniti e divina istituzione formati, audemus di vicere.
give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us Quesumus Domine Apomitimus Maris, Tua propitius pacem in diebus nostris, Ut ope misericordia Tua diuti, Et a peccatus simus semper liberi, Et ab omni perturbazione securi, Espectantes beatam spem, Et adventum salvatoris nostri, Iesu Christi. Apostolis tuis, pacer me linquo bobis, pacer me audo bobis, ne respicias peccata nostra, set fidem ecclesia tue, e anque secundum voluntatem tua pacificare et quadunare dignieris, qui vivis et regnas in secula seculorum. Amen. Ax domini cit semper evobiscum. Amen. With your spirit. May the Lord give you peace, dear brothers and sisters. Peace be with you all. Ecce agnus Dei, ecce qui tolit peccata mundi, beati qui ecce na magni vocati sum. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Dear brothers and sisters, as the body and blood of Jesus being given to the faithful, let us pray to our Father, Lord Jesus, 
and Holy Spirit that he may help us and guide us throughout our lives. During this time of communion, let us communicate to our Lord Jesus the prayers of our hearts. May he dwell in our hearts, mind and soul. May he be our guide, a way of life. Let us ask him to be with us throughout our lives. There are stars up above. So far away, we only see their light long. Long after the star itself is gone. And so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining every bright day. Though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. Let us remember all the people who came to our life, who helped us to grow in all the situations, who were with us in our tough times, who were the backbone for our lives, whom God gave us throughout this year guiding us, in boosting us, giving their energy as Jesus himself gave us. Let us pray along with St. Francis of Assisi this prayer during this time of communion. You are holy, Lord, the only God, and us and yours deeds are wonderful. You are strong, you are great, you are the most high. You are the Almighty. You, Holy Father, are King of heaven and earth. You are three and one. Lord God, all good. You are good, all good, supreme good. Lord God, living and true. You are love. You are wisdom. You are humility. You are endurance. You are rest. You are peace. You are joy and gladness. You are justice and moderation. You are all our riches and you are suffice of us. You are beauty. You are gentleness. You are our protector. You are our guardian and defender. You are our courage. You are our heaven and our hope. You are our faith, a great counselor. You are our eternal life, great and wonderful Lord. God Almighty, merciful Savior. How wonderful is this prayer, dear brothers and sisters, in the words of St. Francis of Assisi. It's a glad that we had such a saint who gave these words and praised the Lord with all his heart. There is no one like our mother, our mother Mary. She is the one who takes care of us, who is constantly looking after us, who gives care and concerns towards us. So, here St. Francis of Assisi praises Mary, our mother, as follows. Hail, Holy Lady, Most Holy Queen, Mary, Mother of God, Ever Virgin. You were chosen by the Most High Father in Heaven 
consecrated by him with his most holy beloved son and the holy spirit the comforter on you descendant and still remains all the fullness of grace and every good hail his palace hail his tabernacle hail his robe hail his handmaid hail his mother and hail all holy virtues who by grace and inspiration of the holy spirit are poured into the hearts of the faithful God through you We all know that today we have received the joy. The whole world is celebrating with joy this event, the historical event of the birth of Jesus Christ, the Savior, who came down from heaven to save us, to save us from our sins. The joy is being spread all over the earth. All the kings on earth rejoice. All the people rejoice this Christmas. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room, and heaven and nature sing. The Savior reigns, let men their songs employ. While fields and floods, rocks, hills and plains repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrow grow, nor thrones infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow far as the cause is found. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations grow. The glorious of his righteousness and wonders of his love. Joy to the world, the Lord is come.
there are stars up above so far away we only see their light long 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 after the star itself is gone and so it is with people that we loved their memories keep shining ever brightly though the time is with us is gone but the stars that light up the darkness night these are the lights that guide us as we live our days these are the ways we remember Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the Feast of Redemption, redeem us nativity, may, through an honorable way of life, become worthy of human union with you. blessing with a plenary indulgence in the name of the Roman Pontifex to all present who are truly penitents a patriarch Pier Battista and for the Holy Mother Church and strive for the Dominus Vobiscum, and with your spirit, who escaped the darkness of the world by the incarnation of his son and his glorious birth, simulated this most sacred night, the darkness of vices will flee from you, and let the light of virtue eradicate your hearts. And the great joy of his solitary birth, angel wanted to tell the shepherds, may he fill your minds with his joy, and he will make you the messengers of his gospel. And who through his incarnation joined the earth with the heavens, may he fill you with the gift of his peace and goodwill, and make you to be heavenly spouses of the church. Amen. 
Per through the intercession of the blessed apostle Peter and Paul, Benedicta Almighty God bless you, Deus, Pater, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Sanctus. Amen. I, now we are going to the grotto. I don't think all of you can come, but so at this last occasion we can say Merry Christmas to all of you. Merry Christmas. Buon Natale. Thank you. Thank you. Now the patriarch will be carrying the baby Jesus to the place where Jesus was born, the place of nativity, to the grotto. As the hymn is being sung, the priest and the patriarch will proceed to the grotto where Jesus was born statue of baby Jesus and they will place in the place of star of Jesus carries the baby Jesus the new baby Jesus the rejoicing the feeling with the Lord be born
Rejoice throughout the year, throughout their life. May all those who have received Jesus be testified everywhere. The way to act, the way to speak, this. From all over the world, are being the baby Jesus being carried to place and to bless the hymn that glory has been sung it's all over the world, especially to the Franciscans. As we are seeing the place, the grotto where the Jesus was born, we are looking at the star of Jesus, the place where we worship that Jesus was born. It is the place, the center of the universe. Let every man every king, every creature on earth bend the knee to this place and worship that Jesus is the Lord. This place has a more significant meaning because when you enter, you can feel the presence of God the baby Jesus, the voice you can feel in your heart. The feeling is something new that each one feels, those who enter in this place. It is kept holy and this is a holy place for all of us who believe in Jesus, who are always there for Jesus. Thousands, millions of people from all over the world come to this place to visit and to see the place where Jesus was born. All those who come and all may be saved. May all the sins and the wrongdoings may be washed away through the birth of Jesus. the Father's only Son, who is dead for all redemption won, before the worlds of God's Most High, begotten all ineffably. The Father's light and splendor though, their endless hope to thee that vow, accept the prayers and praise today, that through the world thy servant pay. Salvation's author call to mind, how talking the form of humankind, born of the virgin, though in man's flesh becomes a child, thus testifies the present place.
through every year in long array that though salvation source alone proceeds from the Father's throne. When sky, the stars, and seas abase, the earth and all that therein is shall still with loud and control meet the author of thine advent greet and we who by thy precious blood from sin redeemed are marked for God on this the place had so thy birth sing the new song of ransomed earth all honor loud and glory be O Jesus, virgin born to thee, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Ghost forevermore. As the patriarch is being incense, the holy place and the baby Jesus. Now, Dominus Vobiscum, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Gloria Tibi Domine. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled, each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have a child, and here she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in his manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them and were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, has been born for you, who is Messiah the Lord, and this will be a sign of, for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in this manger. In the highest, and on earth, peace to those whom his favor rests. Give Jesus to the place where the Magi's, the altar of Magi's, that we believe in this place, Magi's came and worked. Um, behold, in this little cave of the earth was born the creator of the universe. Here he was revealed by the star. Glory to God in the highest. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Bethlehem, behold, in this little cave of the earth was born the creator of the universe. 
Bethlehem. Behold, Bethlehem. Behold, in this little cave of the earth was Gloria in altissimi Trapasominibus Cone voluntaris Laudamus te Benedicimus te Adoramus te Glorificamus te the Lord. As we see, this is the place of the shepherds where they came and worshipped the Lord. Here the angels sung, declaring, Glory to God in the highest. Alleluia. Salut, 
Let us pray. O God, who have made here this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we, who have known the mysterious of His light on earth, may also delight in His gladness in heaven. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us more evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are we among women, and blessed is the fruit of you, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now the Te Deum will be sung.
after the veneration of the place of the grotto where Jesus was born, all the brothers and priests and patriarch and bishops are returning to the church for final blessings. Rejoice, you Bethlehem, you bear the Son, the Savior of the world. These are the signs that angels are among us. Angels are sent to take care of us. Angels always guide us, protect us, and be with us. Let us bless the Father and the Son with the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him forever. Lord, hear my prayer and let, my, let me cry to you. And with your Spirit, let us pray. God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, and the treasure of goodness is infinite. We thank you, most pious majesty, for the gifts you have collected, always asking for your mercy.
as you grant the requests of those who ask, not forsaking them, to dispose of future prizes through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O God, forever and ever. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Wishing you all the true spirit of Christmas shine in your heart and light your path. May this season be full of light and laughter for you and your family. I am Brother Abhishek Mariswami of Horobele, a Franciscan friar, signing off with gratitude for joining us for the celebration of Christmas from the birthplace of Jesus, Bethlehem. Let us continue to pray for the peace in the world and in a special manner for these brothers who have received and to render their total lives for the people of God and for God's mission in this beautiful and colorful universe. I wish you all happy stay, peace and perseverance, wishing you all a season that's mercy and bright with the light of God's love. Wishing you peace, joy and unconditional love at Christmas and always. Thank you. <laughs>